Hello and welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today we're talking about the direction built-in parameter. Just like the other built-in parameters in FMOD, it comes with a very specific function and I'm going to show you an example of it today. Direction parameter, unlike the other ones, takes into the account the direction the listener or the player is facing. It does not take into account distance. As such, the automation curve looks a little bit different. We're still working in degrees, much like the event cone angle, but the middle is now our highest or fullest volume. Whereas 180 degrees this way or that way, the volume should drop off. So something like this is what your curve should look like for your volume or any other effects that you want to add this to. If we jump into the sandbox, we can test this in action. Here we have the event being played. And as you can see, it doesn't matter what distance I am to the event, I don't hear it unless I am facing it. This could be useful when trying to attract the player to a certain object in a map and you only want to reward them with sound if they are facing the correct way. If they're not facing the correct way, they won't hear it. So there you are, the direction built-in parameter. Hopefully this has given you an idea of how you can use it in a project that you're working on right now.